Here we have a populated sequence, but in this video we only want to pay attention to this part down here in the bottom left, which is the track panel. The track panel is where we can manage all of our assets in the sequence. Whatever we have selected in the track panel will be reflected on the canvas, so if you select here, you'll see that the item has been selected on the canvas. Whatever we add will be automatically added to the top of the list or the top of the draw order. So if I drag some assets in, we can see that it's been added above our player and whatever we've got selected on the canvas will update this selection in the track panel. So if I move things around, we can layer things on top of each other and we can see that the order is reflected in the track panel as well as on the canvas. To multi-select, I can select the bottom and the top by holding shift. I'm just going to delete these to clear the things up a bit. So on our track, we actually have modifiers over on the right here. So we can change the color by selecting this color panel here. I'm just going to change this. I'm going to change it to blue to match our player. Next to this we have the lock, which we can toggle on and off to stop us making any unwanted changes when we're working on the canvas. I can toggle the track's visibility using the eye icon here. This add button is probably the most important part of the track panel as it allows us to add parameter tracks. Parameter tracks allow us to manipulate and store values which cause our sequence to animate. So I'm going to add a position track, a rotation track, and a scale track. And this allows us to edit the position, the rotation, and the scale of our player asset on the canvas. Now here you can see the values of each parameter track with their position values in X and Y. We have a rotation of degrees. We have our scale and percentage. We can add keyframes by toggling these icons here, but we'll get into that in the next few videos. If things get a bit busy, we can expand and collapse these, which helps us keep our track panel clean. Down here, we can add tracks. So this is just a reflection of the assets we have in our asset browser. So I can select these and you see that the asset is added to the top of our list. I can add as many as I want. I can duplicate tracks, which just makes a copy of whichever item I have selected in the track panel. We can add clipping masks, but we'll get into them a bit later on. And we can also add groups. And to do this, we multi-select whichever assets we want to add to a group by clicking and holding shift. Then select the group icon, and you can see that they've been placed in a group here. If we want to get rid of this, we can also delete using the bottom delete icon here. And that's it for the track panel. This is just an area for us to order our assets and add parameter tracks for values we want to change.